Okay, so we're going to do the makeup tag, but then bookish version. This tag has been around for many, many years and a couple of great booktubers decided to bring this tag back to life. I will leave their videos down below, but let's get on with it. I'm not really good at doing makeup, so please forgive me, uh, but let's start. So the first thing is primer and for that I'm using NYX Pore Filler. Pick a book that left a lasting impression and for that I choose Sea of Ruin. I unfortunately don't have the physical copy so I'll just show you a picture. The book is about a pirate daughter who gets captured by a man who hates pirates. It is dark romance and it definitely has some very gruesome moments. Uh, so please do read the trigger warnings but I don't know, I read this book over a year ago and I still think about it almost daily. So that says something. And I just used my serum so my cheeks are on fire. Okay, then we go for concealer and I use the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser. And it says pick a character you wish you could get rid of. And I actually have no book for this. And let me explain. Almost every time I hate a character in the second book or in the third book or the fourth, they get redeemed. And on the other hand, most characters that I don't like are there for a reason in the story. And if they weren't there, the book would have been totally different. So yeah, I, I have no character that I wish I could get rid of. Then we go to foundation and for that I use the L'Oreal Invalible 32 hour matte cover. And the question that goes with it is pick a favorite first book in a series. And for that I choose From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I read this book over a year ago and I don't know, it unlocked something in me. I love this so, so much. I read uh, every spare moment I had, I read this book and I also read the second and the third book I think in the series and the first one is still absolute my favorite. If you don't know, um, it is fantasy romance and it's about a maid, about a chosen one. Um, it has vampires and werewolves and um, it is just amazing. Next is powder and for that I use NYX Can Stop Won't Stop. And uh, for that I had to pick my favorite last book in a series. I was really doubting if this is my favorite in the series, but I, I think it is. And then it's A Court of Silver Flames. I was, I also really like A Court of Mist and Fury, but I think this one is just, I like it a little bit more. Everyone and their mother has read a guitar, so. It has fey, it has trials, it's amazing. Okay, next up we have eyebrows and for that I use Benefit because they have my favorite shade and that is 2.5. I had to pick a book that I want everyone to read and for that I decided to pick a book that I haven't heard many people talk about. And that is The Unmarked Witch by uh, Miranda Lynn. I read this almost a year ago and it blew my mind. I was so amazed by it. I really liked it. And I think if you like type of books, like I think people said it was a mix between The Hunger Games and Akutar. And I do kind of agree on that, but I also think a lot of times when people say that people don't end up liking it. So I actually didn't want to say it, but I said it. It has trials, it has witches, it has a dark and mysterious, morally gray character and that is just everything. Um, I read it because of a book club and I was so so happy. Uh, also I just figured out that the second and the third book, well the third book is almost out, the second book is already out and once my book buying ban is lifted, you bet I'm gonna buy it. Also please leave a comment with the book you think I should read. I know I'm on a book buying ban but once that lifted, I will buy them all. Okay, I think that's decent. Um, next is eyeshadow and for that I use my uh, contour palette by Becca. It's this one um, because it has a really nice blush and I love to do that on my eyelid. But the question, 
that goes with it is a book that has my favorite color. And now am I always not entirely sure what my favorite color is? It is always either blue, pink or purple. But my f actual favorite color, I think I'm gonna say it here, is lilac. Lilac? Is that the English? I think. I'll just show you. This color. <laughs> and it is the Lilac Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake. This is a sapphic romance and it's about two stepsisters who um, don't go along. One lives in New York and one lives in a very small town and that sister decides to get married and she needs a photographer and her stepsister is a photographer and really needs money so she comes and a lot of trauma, a lot of very cute romances, and yeah, if you haven't read it and you like Savic romances, I think you should really read it. It was so cute and the lilac green, she's a badass. Then for eyeliner, I use Essence pencil. I normally don't use eyeliner, but when I do, I just do it in the in my waterline. I normally don't use it because I think it makes my eyes look smaller. I don't know if that's true or that I'm just imagining it, but let me tell you the, the thing. For the eyeliner, I had to pick a dark and mysterious book and there were a couple I could choose, but I ended up choosing the Mindfuck series by S.T. Abby, also known as Tabby. And this book, <laughs> I also read it last year. It is so heavy. So if you want to read it, please pick up an e-reader if you can get your hands on it. Because I almost broke my wrist reading this one. But let me tell you what this book is about. It is about a badass female who is a serial killer. Who has the most insane trauma ever. Um, and she falls in love with uh, an FBI agent. Who happens to be the one... Uh, on her case. I wouldn't say it is really heavy on the romance. I mean, there is romance, of course, but it isn't like smut every scene or that's not what you should ex expect. There is more um, mystery, planning, plotting, torture, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> you should just read the trick warning. <laughs> For mascara, I use NYX On The Rise volume. Mascara and I first curl my lashes because they are always looking down and even though I'm doing this in five minutes it will be uh, completely straight but we're trying. So for uh, mascara I had to choose a book that is really long and for that I chose City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. This book is around 800 pages i think and it is the last book in the mortal instrument series i really like this series but i think i just read too many of them back to back and that's the reason why this book also felt extremely long but i did really like it but i think about rereading this one because i was just ready for the series to be over and read a different book which is not great i'm not proud of it but it happened. But I think I'm just going to reread this one and enjoy it a little bit more. Uh, the Mortal Instruments series is actually, I think, one of the first YA series that got me back into reading when I was 13. Something like that. So they always held a, a place in my heart. So now we go to blush and I use the same palette. For blush I had to pick a book that had some cringeworthy romance. And I don't know if I'm just, how do you call that? Immune to that? I don't know. But I, <laughs> I looked at my shelves, I looked at every book and I couldn't think of some cringe-worthy romance. I don't know. I don't I think I cringe that easily. So then for highlighter, I'm still gonna use the same exact palette. I had to choose a book that brightened my day. And for that, I choose Thanks by Sarah Anderson. This is a graphic novel about a vampire and a... Werewolf. I do have a thing for vampires and werewolves. I mean everyone, right? <laughs> this is the most amazing little book ever. I read it last year for Halloween and I'm definitely going to reread it this year. 
It is so funny and so cute. And it just takes like 15 minutes to read. So it's also very easy. Poof. Okay, so for lipstick I use MAC and I use the shade Politely Pink. I had to choose the book with my favorite kiss and for that I choose Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail by Ashley Herring Blake. This is the second book. I finished it last month, I think. And it is amazing. I'm not gonna tell you anything about the kiss because that's going to uh, spoil the entire first and second book. But let me tell you, I was swooning. Okay, and then for contour, I still use the same palette. I'm very easy with makeup. And I had to choose a book that has more depth. Depth, this is one of the most difficult words to pronounce when you're not a native English speakers. speaker, but depth. Uh, and I choose Keckle by Rachel Harrison. This book is something completely different. Um, I thought I was going to read just a very cute uh, Halloweenish type book uh, with spooky vibes, and although it definitely had that, it had so much more. I also told that in the uh, vlog I did reading that one. You can find it in my 13 Days of Halloween. It felt like almost a self-help-ish book, but. I I don't know how to describe it. It was just amazing. And I really want to reread it this year as well. But I have already too many books I want to read. So that's going to be a problem. So I finished uh, the tag. I did my entire makeup. I hope you like this video. I really like talking about these books again. Because it's been a while since I've mentioned them. But uh, if you want to know more about any of these books. Please just message me. Because uh, I will tell you everything you need to know. Thank you so much for watching. Please go check out the other amazing creators. I will have their videos linked down below. And have a beautiful day and happy readings.